Packing and shipping your tumblers is a super important part of your business. You want to make sure that your products get there safely, but also that you're not breaking the bank and you're being conscious of all of the costs involved in shipping. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Allison and I make weekly videos and do weekly live streams all about making and selling tumblers. If you enjoy my videos, do me a favor and make sure that you are subscribed and leave me a comment below if you have any questions regarding shipping your products. This video is great for both beginners that are brand new to shipping and some of you established business owners who need some tools and systems in place to streamline your process and make sure that you're doing things in a cost effective way. I have you both covered. So first let's talk about the basics. If you are shipping Crystal Act tumblers, which I do, or any sort of project, you need to make sure that you give it enough time to dry and fully harden up. So when we're talking specifically about Crystal Act products with tumblers, keychains, signs, whatever, you want to wait five days after your last coat before you get it in the mail. And you don't want to put any plastic around it. Like you don't want to wrap it right in bubble wrap. You should wrap it in tissue paper first, and then if you want to put bubble wrap on it, you can. The, just with the heat and the plastic, it can be a little weird, so I wrap mine in tissue paper and then put it in the box that it came in. Then I put the tumbler box inside of a shipping box. Depending on what you're shipping, the size of your tumbler, and how many tumblers um, you're going to ship, the size box will depend. But if you want to ship one tumbler, a 10 by 4 by 4 box works great. If you want to do like two skinny tumblers, a 10 by 8 by 4 box works really well too. But you have flexibility, you know, whatever you can get your hands on will work. So let's talk about what we put inside our boxes, right? When you pack up your tumbler or whatever projects that you're putting in there, you want it to be nice and snug. So like if you were to close it and shake it, your stuff wouldn't move. So you have options. You can use bubble wrap, you can use packing paper, you can use packing peanuts, or you can use like the air bubble things that come like when your Amazon packages, you can use those as well. Where you can buy all these packaging inserts, first I think it's great if you can reuse some of the inserts that come to your house, right? Anytime I get a package with packing peanuts, I save them and use them in future shipping projects. You can get your shipping supplies from Uline, Staples, Amazon, eBay, all have a wide variety of things to get. A lot of small businesses have really cute, matching, and unique packaging, and I really like that. A lot of small businesses have minimal shipping inserts and packaging and want to keep down their costs time and environmental impact, and I love that too. If you're interested in getting some branded things to go with your packages, to go inside your packages, I'm gonna walk you through what I have for mine and where I get them. This may be depending on the level of which you ship, right? If you're shipping just a handful of tumblers, you may want to keep it simple and easy. But if you're starting to ship more and more of your products, it can give your packages more of that small business feel and just a nice little extra touch. But again, it's completely up to you if you want to go more all out or stay more minimalist. It's really a personal preference. The first thing I do is I put a sticker on my tissue paper where the to hold it in place. I like to wrap it and place it on my tumbler. It has just a cute little positive message. And then I put a sticker on the box or whatever box of the item that I'm shipping that says, thank you for your order. And it has my website on there. I have custom packing tape that is water activated paper tape that I get printed with my logo on it. You can use something cute like this, or you can just use regular old packing tape from the hardware store. That works as well. I do like the paper stuff better. I think it's a little stronger and more sturdy, but whatever you have available to you is what you should use. When I first started, I designed all of this stuff myself. My Tumblr care card, my business card, my logo, my tape, all of that. I designed it in Canva and I will put the link to that down below, but it's a super easy program where you can design some of the things yourself, especially if you're not ready to hire somebody to design it for you. I get my care cards and my business card and any mailings printed right in Canva and I get my stickers and packing tape from Sticker Mule. And again, you can do this all yourself pretty easily in Canva. I've recently hired a designer to kind of upgrade all of my stuff and she's doing an amazing job, but that's a big expense that not everybody is capable of doing right now. So log into Canva, play around, make what you need and get it printed either at Canva or Sticker Mule or any other place that does custom printing. 
Once you get your order all packaged up, you need to measure the size of the box. A lot of boxes, you know, you buy it and it has the dimensions on there, but you may need to take a ruler or a measuring tape just to figure out exactly what size your box is. And then you need to weigh it. You, I just use a basic food scale that I got for like $10 on Amazon to weigh all of my packages. Need the measurements and the weight when you go to buy postage. So if right now you go to the post office and then buy your labels with them at the counter, you need to stop doing that. You need to get a free account through piratechip.com and start getting all of your labels through there. Now you can get labels through Etsy or PayPal. They're gonna give you the same rates as Pirate Chip, both of which will be cheaper than the post office. You get like a business rate when you go that route. So sign up for a free account. You're gonna need all the information. I like that you can shop through Pirate Chip to make sure you're getting the best deal, whether it's going through the post office or UPS, and you can decide which uh, method you want to go to save you the most money, but also make sure that you're covering yourself in terms of insurance. Most tumblers need to be shipped priority mail because they are over one pound, but you can also go with UPS. They're pretty reliable as well. So once you put in all of your information and buy your label, you need to print them. You can use a regular printer and copy paper and tape it to your box. You can use label paper. You can put label paper like Avery label paper right in your printer and print your labels on there and then you can peel and stick them to the box. But if you are shipping more than the very occasional package, I highly, highly, highly recommend upgrading to a thermal printer. I got mine on Amazon for like $140 and I use it so, so much and it saves me so much time. It's really easy to set up and it takes seconds to print the label. You can print them right on the four by six labels so you don't have to cut them out. You don't have to switch your paper in your printer, go to the printer. Like it is so, so easy to streamline that process. So if you're looking for one way to speed up your process, getting a thermal printer is the best option. The beauty of the thermal printer is that it doesn't take ink. The labels that run through it are heat activated, so you never have to replace the ink. You just have to buy labels that you need. And you can get them in four by six, but you can also use it for other types of stickers that are like small rectangles or circles to add to your packages. Another advanced software that you can use is ShipStation. So if you're just starting out and you're just selling every once in a while, Pirate Ship is a great free tool. If you're starting to sell at a higher volume, I recently started using ShipStation a few months ago, and I love how much easier and faster the process is, but it is not a free tool. You're gonna pay $9 or up to like $29, depending on how much, how many labels you print per month, but I just right now can get away with the $9 per month. So what it does is it takes my orders and auto populates it into ShipStation. So I don't have to copy and paste any addresses, enter any information. All of the personal information of where it's going goes into ShipStation. I also have presets. So with one click of a button, since I get, you know, most orders are pretty much the same, I can just press a button, it'll auto populate the size and the dimension and the box that I'm gonna be using and just print it right away. So if you are doing a high volume of sales, I highly recommend looking into ShipStation. It's worth it to me to pay $9 a month to save hours of my time. So the process of shipping a tumbler is so super easy. Let it dry, wrap it up, put it in a box nice and tight, weigh the box, measure the box, get the shipping label, and head it out the door. You can schedule pickups at your house. You can for free schedule a pickup with USPS at your uh, right on your front porch and they can just come pick it up or you can go to the post office and just drop it right in the box. For me, the post office is like less than a mile away, so I don't mind going, but sometimes it's easier if you have a few packages just to go online and schedule a pickup. If you are interested in learning more about building a Tumblr business and specifically how to price your tumblers and all of the projects that you make, make sure you watch the video on your screen. I'm going to break down how to price your items so you can remain competitive, but also make sure that you're paying yourself appropriately.